Alex, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of curious about the impact these last couple of weeks uh, that Garrett McBroom has had on just the entire defense and having another playmaker there at the defensive end. Well, well it's huge. I and mean, obviously, uh, for us and, and every team in the country, the, the more guys up front that can be disruptive. Uh, and for those guys, I, you know, what we'd like to have happen is, is everything that they do show up on the stat sheet because that means that the ball's uh, getting caged up, uh, you know, at or near the line of scrimmage. But uh, the reality is a lot of what they do doesn't sh necessarily show up uh, on the stat sheet. But, uh, you know, the thing with Garrett is, uh, you know, uh, I think he just, you know, every week is, is more comfortable. You know, and not, he's listed as a junior in the program, but when you're talking about a junior college guy, you know, his experience is, is limited to when he got here last winter. Um, and so every game for him is just, you know, uh, uh, you know, allows him, you know, uh, live reps, which uh, uh, is critical to, to all our guys, you know, for, you know as they as they progress. And so uh, it, it, it's it's. He's been violent, and, and the, the the violence comes with with knowing where you need to be when you need to be there. And he's he's thinking less. Uh, and and uh, you know the, the next step for him is to, to get uh, to get more production. But, but he, he certainly has helped us uh, uh, up front, you know, with, with disruption. It's maybe no coincidence that now that he's been able to get these extra snaps, uh, Hercules' production has gone up. Well, I think it does. I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, across the board, as guys play faster, as guys play more aggressive, um, that there's a cumulative effect of, uh, you know, all those things. And, and it speaks to, uh, again, uh, familiarity. Obviously, Hurts has it from a year ago. Um, and, and, and some of these other guys, like, you know, and Garrett's not the only one, but, uh, you know, on Isaac Dotson, who's playing linebacker for the first time. Well, uh, you, you can, again, you can say he's a junior, but he's played five games of linebacker. And, and game five of linebacker looked a whole lot better than game four and so on and so forth. So there, there's, there's a group of guys that, uh, um, you know, certainly all, all of which have a long way to go, but uh, uh, the, as they progress, you know, uh, you know certainly we're, we're getting a little bit better result. Coach, you talk about Isaac Dotson. It's been kind of a long road for him with injuries yeah. and stuff like that. Um, what do you have to say about the way he's playing right now? It kind of looks like he's becoming somewhat of a leader. Well, well, he is, and I think he is. I, I think he's in the right spot. Um, and, and the great thing about uh, Dot is he, you know, he, he never has wavered in terms of everything we've asked him to do. He's done for us, and, and you know, we joke. You know, the next step for him is to be. You know, the only thing he hasn't played on our defense is probably defensive line. You know, and then. And, and, um, but uh, you know, playing that will linebacker spot, and you know he's highly intelligent. You know, former high school quarterback. Um, you know, he, he his, his physical play has increased again, like so many that we keep talking about from the standpoint of uh, thinking a lot less and reacting a lot more. And, um, and so that's been huge between him and Frankie at the will linebacker spot, and, and Peyton, and uh, you know, a, a, uh, you know, spelling Peyton with. Uh, with Parrish Taylor, you know, those, those guys have uh, uh, certainly helped the, the middle of our defense. Do you sense with, with guys like him who've missed some time for reasons outside of their control that when they do get healthy, there's maybe a sense of urgency and a, an ability to make the, the most of the time they have left? Well, and that, that's the thing with, with these guys, especially when they have, you know, legitimate, you know, you're talking about surgeries and, and, and it's not. Um, you know, I'm sore. I, I, you know, I don't. I don't think I can go today. You know, and, and not to say we have that with other guys, but um, you know, you're talking about legitimate. You know, uh, do you really want to play this game type of stuff? You know, and, and, and to to fight your way back from from some of those things just speaks to your level of commitment. And uh, um, so, uh, I, th I think without question, I think I think uh, you know, just getting healthy alone, you know, shows kind of that drive. And then, you know, take it a step further with, with uh, you know, performing the right way on Saturday. It sounds like the the depth at rush linebacker is going to take a bit of a hit. How, how do you feel about the the other guys there? And do you maybe have to move somebody around to create some depth we'll, there? We'll jockey every, everything that, that, that we need to, you know, and, and uh, you know, as we always say, we'll try to get the, the, the next 11 behind our, our best 11. And however we have to do that, we'll, we'll do that. If that, that means, uh, um, you know, position changes or, or just strictly depth changes, then that, that uh, that's what we'll do, and we'll prepare those guys, and, and they'll be uh, they'll be ready to go, and they'll be expected to uh, perform at a high level. Do you, do you like what you've seen from Dylan Hanser thus far? Uh, another another guy that uh, continues to to progress, and, and uh, I don't think Dylan's played his best game yet, but uh, uh, you, you you see flashes, you see more of. of uh, uh, of a guy, uh, you know, playing faster, playing with a little bit more violence, um, and and uh, 
you know, likewise, he's a junior that hasn't played a whole lot. So uh, it's, it's, it's basically five games into his uh, experience level at that position, you know, although he's played you know, some special teams in the past. So um, I bring those things up simply because our expectation for those guys as they get more experience uh, you know, continues to continues to rise. They, they got to be better next week, uh, you know, as, as opposed to last week, and they, they can't stop that progress. Thank you.